Hi people, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video, I'm going to answer a question which pops up in the head of every net aspirant when they decide that they want to sit for this exam. This question pops up in the head of aspirants even before they have taken the first step in their preparation, even before they have seen the syllabus of this examination that they want to clear. And the question is that should they join a coaching class or should they prepare on their own? Should they go and look for a class where a mentor can guide them on how to prepare or do they uh, have to do it on their own sitting at their home and doing self-study? But before I answer that question, let me tell you very simply that Answering this question is very similar to answering a question that should you join gym or not? If you have all the relevant information, if you have uh, equipment, if you have uh, proper knowledge on how to use those equipment or if you have fitness knowledge and you know how you can uh, make your body sweat and uh, make your body fit how you can uh, balance out cardio and strength training then in that case you don't have to join a gym and you don't have to take its membership you can do it on your own so there are a few things that you must know and if you have that knowledge then in that case you can do it on your own you don't need somebody's guidance the same theory applies in the case of UGC net coaching because when I started my preparation even I looked for some coaching classes I even enrolled myself in one or two of them and I found that they were not proper. They did not give me relevant material. Their uh, notes were not proper. The kind of lectures I was expecting was not given by them. And then I realized that it's better to drop from that class and study on my own. So I could have prepared through the help of a coaching class. But then I decided that because I don't have right coaching class available in front of me, I should do it on my own. So the next big challenge after deciding whether you want to join a coaching class or not will be that whether you have right coaching class for you. I might be a good teacher, but you have to see whether I can answer you in a manner that makes sense to you. So that is the reason why I give you so many um, YouTube videos and I put up so many demo material on my website so that a student can listen to those demo material, can watch my videos with, before they enroll in my course. They should have full faith, full trust in the guidance given by the mentor and they should also make sure that the mentor who is guiding them can make the concepts clear in their head can explain the topics after which they don't have any doubt so that is very important the student teacher relationship is important and it is as important as the question that whether you should join a coaching class or not so in this video what i'm going to do is that i'm going to highlight few important things that a coaching class does to you and if you can do it on your own sitting at your home. So if you find that out of the points that I am giving you, you can do most of the things on your own, then uh, you have answered the question yourself. You don't need a coaching class. You can do it on your own. And if you find that, no, I uh, can't do all these things on my own. I need somebody who can sit next to me and guide me on these topics then in that case you really need a coaching class and it is with this coaching class that you can achieve your targets so well so without wasting any further time let's jump right into the topic and let's see what are the benefits that a person derive from a coaching class and can a person uh, get these benefits on his own self by studying on his own in the tranquility of his own. Now, the very first reason why most of the people join coaching class, be it UPSC or NTA, UGC net, is that uh, they get proper guidance and right guidance from these coaching centers. So what happens is that if you look at the syllabus of any competitive exam, it's huge. And it is nearly impossible for a person to complete each and everything that is written in the syllabus. Most of the students face this issue that they don't know the uh, right 
area in which they have to focus for example everyone knows that they have to study this and this the syllabus is clearly specified but they don't know how much to study what to study and what to skip in a particular portion for example if we look at UGC net paper to English literature there are writers okay they have just written in the syllabus poetry now for a student it is very difficult to understand which poetry they have to study and how much there are poetries like wasteland that has to be read line by line and understood each and every reference which is stated there on the other hand there are very simple and uh, not so famous poetries written by John Donne or maybe you have writers like Tennyson who have written poetries which are not so important from net point of view so you just need to remember the titles or maybe few opening and closing lines so this demarcation of what to study how much to study what to leave is given in a coaching center now what can you do if you don't want to join a coaching center it's very simple you can evaluate the past year papers and then on the basis of that you yourself will understand what you have to study and how much this is what i did when i was preparing for net i had no clue of which authors to study and how much to study so what i did i went through the past 10 years paper and while i was going through each and every question i started making a list and then i started writing down what was what was the intensity of the question that was asked from a particular writer so there were writers like virginia wolf ts elit from which very in depth questions were asked on the other hand there were writers like abraham kaule from which surface level questions were asked so i evaluated and understood the trend on my own and then i did what a coaching center uh, would have done for me reason number 2 why coaching centers are students favorite spot and that is concept clarity so in paper 1 and paper 2 you will find a lot of concepts that you must understand only then you can solve a question for example if in case uh, you look at paper 1 you will find that there's a concept called square of opposition now unless and until you don't understand that concept you cannot uh, answer questions uh, based on the same now if you look at paper 2 you will find that there is a huge history of english literature for example the there are topics uh, like what was the religious war that went for about 100 years in britain that was known as reformation and then there are topics like uh, theory uh, for example what is new criticism and how is it different from old criticism what is structuralism and who are the writers who were writing and talking about marxism and what are the major theories involved in marxism now all these things are based on concepts if you don't understand the concept it is nearly impossible for you to solve the questions now what a coaching center does or what a mentor does for you is that the person simplifies and clarifies these concept in a very very simple and straight manner so uh, for example if you want to understand square of opposition a, a good teacher can uh, make you understand that concept in 15 20 minutes okay and you'll you'll have no doubts after that and even if you have doubts you have the right person to ask the doubts and get them solved on the other hand if you study on your own you can obviously understand these concept but then you have to invest lot more time and energy for example when i was studying for paper 1 the most important topic where i got stuck was square of opposition i had to watch nearly 10 to 12 youtube videos to understand this concept and finally to get my doubt solved i have to also search for a few books where i can understand theory i had to refer to a few videos on youtube of these yale professors who could actually tell me what these theories meant in simple terms then there were websites like shmoop which tried to give you a very basic information about a theory and then you have to refer to some advanced website from where you can build those build your knowledge so you if you are not in a coaching center you have to devote a lot of time and energy in understanding the concept what a teacher can teach you in 10 minutes for example you might take one and half hours in understanding that concept from different sources but then let me tell you guys it's a hard work worth doing because 
this was the process when I was trying to gather so much information from different sources. I subscribed to so many uh, websites, paid courses in order to understand uh, literature. That is when I developed my love for literature and I understood the concept in such a nice manner that today I can talk about these concepts with everybody on YouTube where I have 250,000 students listening to what I have to say. So that concept clarity, that crystal clarity clear knowledge developed because I invested so much time. If I would have gone to a coaching institute and just uh, listened to them and made my own notes, I might have saved a lot of time. But this conceptual clarity and this interest in subject that I have right now, that might not have happened. And that is the reason why my students love my online course. Because in my online course, I use all this knowledge that I have gathered during my process of preparing for net and I put them all together in one audio lecture. So if I'm talking about one writer, I make sure that I have referred to more than 10 books. I have gone through these fabulous websites like Cliff Notes, Park Notes, Great Saver, Study.com and gathered material from there and then give it to my students in the most simplest manner. So that is the beauty of a mentor. And I think that anybody who aspire to become a professor must go through this struggling phase because that is when he develops this unending love for the subject. The next advantage of a coaching class is that you get all the material in under one roof. Okay, so that's what I call my website. One stop solution for UGC net English literature. We give you everything under one website so that you don't have to go anywhere else. You have the audio lectures, PDF, mock test, everything, previous year papers, everything you need to clear this exam. You don't have to go anywhere else. We give you all the material and in uh, we give you a material which is so much synchronized that once you read uh, my PDFs and you've gone through the audio lectures, everything falls into the proper place. But the problem when you study on your own, you don't subscribe to courses, uh, online courses or maybe go to a mentor is that you have to go to different places to get information. So when I started my preparation and I was doing self study, I referred to like three, four books on one topic. Then I also subscribed to these paid courses. For example, there was study.com and uh, lit charts and grade saver. So their book rags, their courses were very costly and very high on pocket. So uh, study.com Com's course was like 3500 per month and I subscribed it for like six months then there was book rags which was like ten dollars so you have different different websites and uh, the material that they are giving for free might not be enough for you so you uh, even pay to get the paid material and then there were a lot of YouTube uh, videos that I used to watch there were these uh, great courses by government of India then there were Yale uh, University which uh, gave lectures on theory and criticism so a lot of sources I had uh, from which I gathered material and finally I made my own notes so this was a very difficult process of gathering material from different places some from some book I understood something from some other other video I understood another thing from three places I understood one concept so I had to gather the material and put them in one place on the other hand for example in a course like ours you will find everything in one particular lecture so if I'm talking about Shakespeare I'll take you from 0 to 100 and I'll give you each and everything that you must know about William Shakespeare each of his play is explained each of his poem which is important from net point of view is explained in detailed manner so you don't need to go anywhere also when it comes to doubt in case you are not you know having a coaching center or a mentor with you you will have to again go to internet type your doubt and read the uh, websites which come on the other hand in our case you can simply ask it to me I will do the background research work and I'll give that uh, to you. So a lot of time and energy would be saved. But again, as I say that if you are ready to put in so much effort, then self study can be a big game changer for you. The final reason why people join and enroll in a coaching class is uh, because of motivation. So I know that we all somewhere or the other feel as if we lack study motivation. It's not a very pleasant activity that we would do on our own. So if you enroll yourself in a coaching institute, if you've paid 
uh, fees for some online course then you are motivated that you have to study every day i still remember that there are uh, kids in my course and when they know that okay their membership is going to expire in like 15 days 15 days are left unka energy automatically bhar jata hai they know that they have to finish it because they have invested money so when you invest money you tend to make use of it and while you are using it you are definitely preparing yourself for a competitive exam on the other hand if you are studying on your own the motivation level might go up and down some days you might study for 10 hours others uh, other day you might not study at all so motivation ke liye i think that uh, you know coaching centers can be a big game changer also at the same time it's just like a gym membership so why we enroll in a gym we know that there can be a lot of other things we can do to make ourselves fit for example we can walk we can run we can do skipping but still we enroll and pay for a gym membership because we know that when we have paid we would be bound somewhere along the line our conscious would say that you've paid you've given money you have to go and attend the class you have to go and work out for at least an hour every day so that motivation only comes when money is involved which is a trivial motivator yet i think that you know money plays a big part in motivating you so i have given you four very good reasons why people enroll in a coaching class and why you can skip a coaching class and do the things on your own and i hope that you will make a wise choice after this video and you are going to finally decide how and from where you are going to start your ugc net preparation our online course registrations are open you can visit our website arpitakarwa.com check out the demo material check out the free syllabus of our online course and then finally decide uh, when you would like to enroll so i look forward to see all of you in my uh, online course uh, with that note i would like to take a leave from this video i'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com.